Matthew chapter 14, Holman Christian Standard Bible. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard the report about Jesus. This is John the Baptist, he told his servants. He has been raised from the dead, and that's why supernatural powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested John, chained him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. Since John had been telling him, it is not lawful for you to have her. Though he wanted to kill him, he feared the crowd, since they regarded him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday celebration came, Herodias' daughter danced for them and pleased Herod. So he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask. And prompted by her mother, she answered, Give me John the Baptist's head, here on a platter. Though the king regretted it, he commanded that it be granted because of his oath and his guests. So he sent orders and had John beheaded in prison. His head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, who carried it to her mother. Then his disciples came, removed the corpse, buried it, and went and reported to Jesus. When Jesus heard about it, he withdrew from there by boat to a remote place to be alone. When the crowds heard this, they followed him on foot from the towns. As he stepped ashore, he saw a huge crowd, felt compassion for them, and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples approached him and said, This place is a wilderness, and it is already late. Send the crowds away so they can go into the villages and buy food for themselves. They don't need to go away, Jesus told them. Give them something to eat. But we only have five loaves and two fish here, they said to him. Bring them to me, he said. He commanded the crowds to sit down on the grass. He took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them. He broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. Everyone ate and was filled. Then they picked up twelve baskets full of leftover pieces. Now, those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After dismissing the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat was already a mile from land, battered by the waves, because the wind was against them. Around three in the morning, he came towards them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. Immediately, Jesus spoke to them, Have courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter answered him, command me to come to you on the water. Come, he said, and climbing out of the boat, Peter started walking on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the strength of the wind, he was afraid, and began to sink, and cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand, caught a hold of him, and said to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Those in the boat worshipped him and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they crossed over, they came to the land, Gennesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they alerted the whole vicinity and brought to him all who were sick. They were begging him that they might only touch the tassel of his robe, and as many as touched it were made perfectly well. Like this page. Subscribe to this channel. Be part of spreading God's word by sharing with your friends.